Marion County has long been thought of as one of the best places in America to raise a family. You don't have to go far in any one direction before you're able to see families are everywhere here. And while most of the parents here provide a caring and safe environment for their small little blessings, there are some children who aren't as fortunate. And that's exactly why people like Dawn Westgate get up and come to work every day. Kimberly Center, this is Dawn. Dawn is someone who addresses these problems firsthand. They're not always treated as the blessings that they really are. And it's definitely hard um, to see what kids go through. At Kimberly Center for Child Protection, Dawn and her colleagues work tirelessly to serve and advocate for the children of Marion County. More than 4,000 cases are reported each year. Child abuse is a horrible thing that no child should go through. And um, unfortunately, they, they do go through it, and we're that compassionate response. Kimberly Center is an organization that exists to provide a compassionate response to child abuse. And with 617 children already seen at Kimberly Center this year alone, it's a need told through the painful stories of too many children who've been on the receiving end of an abusive relationship. I do not believe I'll ever be as comfortable with my own life as I was before. I used to say to myself, how can he possibly sleep at night knowing he did this to me? Listen to the story of one young teenage girl and the heartache she experienced and her road to recovery after an abusive situation changed her life forever. It will never be possible for him to experience my feelings and how this has forever changed me. The story begins with this high school sophomore, just 15 years old. I was at a friend's house and I fell and hit my head on a table and I wasn't feeling well so I went in a bedroom to lay down and um, a guy walked in and he sexually assaulted me. To make the situation even worse, she was unable to get any of her friends to admit that she had been raped for fear they might all get in trouble if they spoke up in her defense. It was mostly shocking because you never think that something like that's going to happen to you and then until it does. Back at home, her mom noticed a change in her behavior and started asking questions. I noticed she was acting different. She was very defensive. Don't touch me, you know, that kind of thing. I mean, I just knew something was wrong. And I asked her how she got the black blue marks on her knees. This was the night after this party. And she said she was raped. When her parents realized what had happened, they immediately called the police. And it wasn't long before Kimberly Center got involved. We responded by um, working with this young lady to do a forensic interview with her um, to gather her statement. Um, of, of what happened. Kimberly Center allows for the investigation to take place under one roof in an environment that is kid-friendly. They have a trained staff of counselors and medical professionals who specialize in compassionately working with children who have been the victims of abuse. They work to accommodate law enforcement and the Department of Children and Families with the information they need for the investigation while ensuring the child's needs are being met in a loving, compassionate way. Instead of a child being interviewed separately by four different agencies, a child's counselor conducts one interview and all the information is distributed to everyone at the same time, limiting the negative impact of the investigative process. Robbie Lapp is a children's counselor at Kimberly Center. She began working on the case right away. When I met with this adolescent, uh, she was very distraught. She was very scared. She was uh, devastated. Uh, she was doing very poorly at school. At first, it was kind of, um, it's hard to talk to a complete stranger about your experiences, but then once you get to know them, it's much easier because they understand you. Robbie has been counseling abused children for more than seven years at Kimberly Center. During counseling sessions, she uses special activities and techniques that encourage children to open up and talk about their struggles. I'm here as a support to say, I'm here to listen to anything you have to say. They've helped me a lot um, cope with my emotions and to find outlets for them. I mean, after the second visit, I could see a difference in her. She was more relaxed. Um, she was more open. She would laugh more again, like she used to. For me, on a personal level, I feel my 
uh, kind of role in life is to kind of help children uh, and adolescents to kind of grow and be the best that they can be. She treats me like one of her own. And so you can definitely tell by the way she talks to me that she cares about me. I just want to say thank you. I don't know where she'd be if she wasn't coming here. Today, she's back at school. Uh, her grades have improved. She's involved in sports. Um, she continues to participate with her family. Her parents tell me she's much more open. The staff at Kimberly Center provides a unique service to children that isn't available anywhere else. It's a promise of compassion to every child in Marion County. I think every child out there is resilient and they have a lot to offer this world. And if I can be a small part of that, um, I feel like it's a blessing. You can almost pick them out the first time they're here if you go out in the lobby. It's the child that's sitting very still, head down, not making eye contact. By the time they're here for their last session, they run through the door, they know the staff. You know, they're um, engaged and they're energetic and you can see that they're, they're healthier and that they're moving through what's happening. And I think that's why you know, we're able to stay here and keep doing what we do because we see that healing that really does happen for our kids. It enriches my life to, for them to allow me into theirs. And that's how I see it. It's a privilege.